Today we're going to cover how to use the replace tilde code tool from the pricing screen to update an item across multiple occurrences in a project. Now, in this case, you'll notice that I'm selected on my insulation item for the roofing industry. However, you can use the replace tilde code tool on any item on your pricing screen. The difference is, is the window that's going to be presented, whether you're utilizing a hard-coded item or a templated item in the, that is built in the back end of the condition, or a miscellaneous item. And we'll go through and show you what both windows look like. Now the first thing we want to talk about is this number sign column that you see on the left hand side of my item description. The reason we want to talk about the number sign column is because this is representing the number of occurrences that this product has inside of your project. So you'll notice that with the ISO, we have three different conditions where this is being calculated, or three different areas in a condition where this is being calculated. So instead of going and changing each one of those areas, we can change all three of them simultaneously by utilizing the replace tilde code tool, which is this icon right here for you. Simply left click on the line, which you would like to adjust, and then click the replace tilde code tool. Now in this case, we are opening up a hard coded item. So inside of your condition properties in the insulation tab, these are all fields that you have the ability to fill out. The insulation thickness, the insulation width, the insulation length, as well as the insulation type. If we were to make any adjustments here, let's say we change two inch ISO to 2.6 inch ISO and say apply, you'll notice that in all three locations, it automatically changed that for us. And in this case, we don't have a price, and you can see that it pulled zero in as our price. Now, what happens if we were in a different industry other than roofing? Well, let's go take a look at studs, track, or board, any one of those items that are the same. In this case, we have 12 occurrences of a 20 gauge 3 and 5 eighths by 10 foot track. Simply left click on that item, click the replace tilde code tool, and now you can go in and change this information. Hey, instead of this being 20 gauge metal, we're actually gonna drop this down to 18 gauge metal, and then we're gonna go ahead and say apply. You'll notice that as we did that, all of those occurrences of that item were changed out, so now you can go put the correct price to that item you're working with. Now that is the look that you're gonna get when you're dealing with a templated item that is built behind the scenes in the condition. But what if you were looking at a miscellaneous item, something like sound caulking or fire caulking in the interior industry, or if you're in the roofing industry, something along the lines of cut edge sealant or general purpose sealant or water block, those types of items. Well, in this case, if you were to go up and you were to find any one of those items, here we go, we have cut edge sealant, if you single left click on that line and you click your replace tilde code tool, you'll notice that you're gonna get a different view. All we're allowing you to do here is simply click the three dotted button and go choose from the same unit of measure in the miscellaneous items, another product that you would like to see. Again, if you wanted to look at this, not in the roofing industry, but in the interior industry, well then we scroll down, we find our sound caulking line item, we single left click on it, we click the replace tilde code. In this case, let's say we want to change this to fire caulking. So I click my three dotted button, and now I'm going to go search for my new item. Here I'll type in fire up at the top, just for quick access. Here I'll choose fire caulk, I'll say select, and then I'll say OK. You'll notice that the sound caulking is no longer in my project, and it has now since been replaced with fire caulking. This is how you can utilize the replace tilde code tool from the pricing screen to help you quickly update multiple occurrences of an item inside of your project. If you have any additional questions as it pertains to the replace tilde code tool, please reach out to our tech support team and they'd be happy to assist you in any way they can. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.